A disease which poses a threat to Louisiana's $300 million a year crawfish industry is getting national attention. The disease is called white spots syndrome virus, named because of the white spots that sometimes form on the shell of crustaceans. According to experts at the LSU Ag Center, the disease first showed up in Louisiana 10 years ago, most likely brought over with shrimp from China and Thailand. While the disease poses no harm to people who eat infected crawfish, it does kill older crawfish in the ponds and could reduce a farmer's yields. Dr. Gray Lutz with the LSU Ag Center Aquaculture Research Station says the concern is for how this could affect the future of the crawfish industry. In the pond where it does hit and you've got a serious outbreak, you're looking at, you know, going from maybe 600 pounds per acre total harvest to down to maybe 150, 200 pounds for the whole season. And the bad thing is most of those losses are gonna occur after that farmer has already spent money on pumping, spent money on his boat in his traps. And, and so it really puts you in a negative position. Lutz says those who raise and catch crawfish can normally tell the infected crawfish by how sluggish they are in the trap, if they're not dead already. Experts suggest crawfish farmers clean their boats between ponds to prevent spreading of the disease. I know a lot of people are always concerned when something can affect their crawfish. Yes. Coming up after the break, being a farmer or rancher is already a tough job by itself. AJ Savine brings us the story of one rancher who has more than his fair share of obstacles to overcome. Stay with us. Mm -hmm. 